All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasim, Yahweh Shah, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and it's a shit Shalom to all the elect out here that's doing his pushing his work in truth and in sincerity. I want to title his lesson, There's Comfort in the Lord Destroying Esau, or the so-called white people according to the Bible, okay? Um, I'm going to just go ahead and jump into the lesson, okay? Uh, Nahum 1 and 2, okay? Um, it says, God, uh, is jealous, okay? Uh, with the one who the world inwardly calls God, okay? It's not just one person, okay? The, when you go into the word, uh, God right here, okay? This, this is talking about the Most High, okay? Uh, which the Most High's name is Yahweh, okay? Uh, it's, it says, um, well, Yahweh is uh, jealous, okay? The, the Most High is jealous, okay? And uh, when you go right here, it says, uh, yeah, the Lord, right? Which the Lord in the Hebrew is... is and, that's the name of the Lord when you read it in the Hebrew, which is Yahweh. Okay, it says uh, the Most High is jealous. Okay, uh, and, and why is the, the Lord jealous, man? Because the so-called white man, you know, uh, is trying to uh, steal his glory from him, man. Okay, um, the so-called white man uh, uh, making it seem like you know. Uh, He's God, okay. Um, so when the so when the so-called white man get destroyed, man, the Lord is the Lord is justified in doing this, man, because he's taking away, um, he's trying to take credit from the Lord in every uh, aspect, saying that they uh, create the food, okay. They're trying to create life and do everything um, that's totally against nature and the Lord Himself, okay. Um, it says, and the Lord revengeth, okay, and you have to ask yourself, why is, why, why is the Lord, the Most High, going to revenge, you know, who is he, what, what, what did somebody do to the Lord for him to try to get revenge, okay, it says, the Lord revengeth and is furious, okay, the Lord, the Most High is furious, man, it says, the Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries, and he reserved wrath for his enemies, okay? And and that wrath that he has uh, set, man, okay, is is uh, that destruction, man, okay? That the so-called white man uh, in, with America, Babylon the Great, okay, NATO, all of the countries where the so-called white man uh, dwells, okay, uh, which are Edomites, the Lord is going to destroy them, man. Okay, that's uh, straight into the point, man, whether you like it or not. It says, Yahweh, okay, Bahasim Yahweh Shah, okay, it says, is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked, okay? So it ain't no, it's not no, um, that wasn't me, you know, that wasn't my, uh, that, that, was, that was before me. You know, times has changed. There's none of that, man. The Lord says he's not going to at all acquit the wicked, okay? And when you go into the word equit, acquit, okay, it says to be empty. Um, it's, uh, I believe it's nequa, okay, in the uh, Hebrew, okay? It says to be empty, to be clear, be pure, be free. Be innocent, be desolate, be cut off, okay? Be free for guilt, guilt, okay? Be exempt from punishment, okay? So the Lord is not at all going to gonna say that you're innocent, you know, you so-called white people, based off of the, what y'all, you know, just saying that y'all, that wasn't y'all, okay? That's not good enough, man, okay? You cannot show no situation where the Lord done done uh had mercy on you know uh 
the so-called white people, um, y'all basically been 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 ruling this planet, okay, for 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 so long, you know what I'm saying? And y'all never got that judgment or that payback, man, okay? And that payback is coming, man, okay? Some 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 know that it's coming, okay? But but for the most part, that pride is too far up, you know. It's, it's it's too far in in these uh, Edomites, man, in, in these so-called white people, man. That is that that they actually think that you know um, they're better than God, okay? Himself. It says the Lord hath His way in the whirlwind and in the in the, in the storm, okay? When when the Lord comes back, okay? When the, when the Yahweh, the Most High, the one of the world, and we calls Jehovah or God. Okay, when he sends his son, Yahweh Shah, the one who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, okay, he's coming back with chariots, man, okay, and and those chariots that the Lord uh, uh, is going to come back in, the, that's that's going to be uh, uh, one of the ways how, how America is destroyed, okay, similar to, to Independence Day. The movie War of the Worlds. The Lord is going to destroy the so-called white man, okay, and and the sinners of of Israel in this place, man. And in some some places, you're going to have uh, you know, different storms and stuff like that, okay. The the uh the waters are going to be uh rising up, you know, to to uh extreme levels, okay. You're going to have tornadoes and stuff like that, man. There's going to be a lot of destruction out here. It says, and the clouds are the dust of his feet. Okay. It says, he rebukes the sea. It makes it dry. And dries up all the rivers. Basan languisheth and, and Carmel. And the flower of Lebanon languisheth. The mountains quake at him. Okay. And you're going to have uh, uh, earthquakes. Okay. You're gonna have uh, um, um, eruptions of, of, uh, of volcanoes and stuff like that, man. Okay, it says, and the hills melt, and the earth is burnt at his presence. Yeah, the whole the world and all that dwell therein. So when the Lord destroys this so-called white man, this this judgment that is that is going to come down on this nation, man, is going to be drastic, man. Okay. You have this uh this uh old geyser, okay? Um I forgot what it's called. It's in, I believe it's in Yellowstone. Uh and 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 man, it, it's so many um news articles and, and, and um and information on basically like that that thing alone is able to 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 destroy uh a, a part of uh America alone man okay if that if that geyser uh was to go off okay hold on let me try to find that I'm not sure if it's called old old faithful okay which that's probably what it's called okay but if this geyser um was to go off you know this this geyser would would uh would 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 destroy a lot a, a major part of uh America, man. Okay, and this is all in um in uh in the in the, um the news and stuff, man. Okay, um it says uh the and the earth is burnt at his presence. Yeah, the world and all that dwell therein, who can stand before his indignation, which indignation is righteous anger, and who can abide in his fear in the fierceness of his anger? Okay? You people that think that, you know, oh he's not gonna come. Well, when he do come, man, okay, <clears throat> we're going you going that 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 feeling of shame is gonna hit you, man. Okay, and you're gonna know that. You know, you you can't call on the Lord at that point in time. Though you wish that you could get saved, you can't call on the Lord at that point in time, man. Okay? 
you, you, you idiots that think that y'all can stand against the Lord, okay? It says his fury is poured out like fire and the rocks are thrown down by him. Okay, you might have people that's getting crushed by by giant uh, rocks and stuff, man. Okay? The Lord is good. So this is a good thing that the Lord is doing this, man. Because the earth is, is not at rest, man. Okay? You have people out here that are playing God. You know, we have social security numbers and uh, birth certificates and uh being oppressed all 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 the all the goddamn time okay that this this judgment that is gonna come down man that's that's a good thing man okay it's this is is the, the lesson say there's comfort in that man okay it says a stronghold in the day of trouble so even with all this fierceness okay this this fury that is about to come down Okay, the Lord is still going to be a strong cold for, for his elect, man, for his chosen people, man, which are the Israelites, okay, that the, the Lord has a chosen people inside of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, because a lot of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans in America are going to get destroyed, man, and they're going to be taking part, they're going to partake in the judgment also, Okay. But the ones that are that are that are a part of the Lord, okay, it says, and he knows them that trust in him, okay, those are the people that are gonna be able to 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 to, to go into the Lord, man. Okay, during that during that time, man, when when this judgment comes, man. Okay? We don't know when uh this this judgment is gonna come, but looking at the times right now, you can you can see that it's around the corner. Okay, and and you know the Lord is the Lord is slow to anger, man. Okay, you he 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 see the shit that y'all y'all doing, man. Okay, he he see the stuff that y'all doing. Okay, and he's not going going to let it go go by, man. It says, but with an overrunning flood, will he make an utter end of the place thereof? Okay. And darkness shall pursue his enemies. Was that darkness, okay, is is that like you cut off a light, you know, and you try to walk around, okay, in a, in a, in a um in a room, you know, you don't know where the heck you're going, you know, you might bump into some stuff that you 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 in a confused state of mind, okay, and that's what that's what this is this place is going to be. It's going to be confused because it's going to be so much stuff going on, okay. You're gonna you're gonna see uh, chariots, okay, coming out, the, you know, coming through through the skies and stuff, okay. You're gonna see uh, missiles. You're gonna see all type of judgment coming, man, okay. Um, and you ain't gonna be able to escape it. And and um, when you're going through the word darkness, okay, it says darkness, obscurity, okay, uh, misery. Destruction, death, ignorance. Okay, like that's that's a good thing. Not knowing what's going on. Okay, sorrow, wickedness, darkness, night, obscurity. Right, you go into the word obscurity. Okay, it says uh, the state of being unknown, inconspicuous, unimportant, the quality of being difficult to understand. A thing that is unclear or difficult to understand, okay? And and when this stuff happens, man, you're going to have a lot of people that they're not going to understand it, man. But but we understand it, okay? The the men of the Lord that are doing and pushing his work, man, okay? We understand it. This is a part of the hope that the so-called white man is, 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 is destroyed, man, Okay? But y'all, y'all are his enemies, and two thirds of our people, okay, are his enemies. All of uh, man, if you're not down with Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, you are an enemy, man. Okay, if you're not doing what these scriptures say, you're an enemy. Okay, it says, "What do you imagine against the Lord? He will make an utter end. Affliction shall not rise up the second time." Okay, and and 
one of the reasons why it says affliction shall not rise up the second time is because they have this RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, okay? And and they plan on trying to chip people and putting them even and into even more of uh, uh ser servitude to this country, okay? You already bought our people over here on slave ships, okay? On on with 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 chains and everything, you know, and 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 forced hard the hard labor on on our people, and y'all y'all afflicted us, and you know now all of a sudden y'all want y'all thinking that y'all can do that again. It's not gonna happen, man. Okay, you so-called white people. It's a, it's a petition going on. Where millions of uh, so-called white people uh, signed this petition, okay, from the KKK to to to, to have a purge of the so-called African Americans, which are the tribe of Judah, okay, and and if even if y'all was to do some shit like that, man, y'all might kill a lot of kill a lot of uh, Jake out here or a lot of African Americans or whatever. Y'all might kill them, man. But as far as as far as the, the men of the Lord, okay. If, if y'all even put a hand on the men of the Lord, man, the Lord is going to destroy you you people, man. Okay? Because we are the apple of the Lord. Ah, man. Okay? It says, for while they are they be folding together as thorns, while they are drunken as drunkards, okay, off of that good old Babylonian juice, okay? You, 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 you people love America. Y'all think y'all can make America great, okay? This, this place is destroyed, man. Okay, it says they shall be devoured as stubble fully dry. Okay, and when you go into the word stubble, it says the cut stalks of grain plants left sticking out of the ground after the grain is harvested. Okay, and when you go into the harvest, okay, according to the scriptures. I believe it's in Matthew. Try to get it. Uh, Matthew 13. Okay. Because this is talking about, uh, and they shall be devoured as stubble fully dry. Okay. That, you know, the, uh, America right now, okay, it goes into the uh, parable of the uh, wheat and the tares, okay, you have a lot of people that um, are going to look like different nations or so-called white people, it's not a, a white or black thing, okay, it's not a, 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 a yellow or whatever the hell uh, color the so-called white man puts, puts on us, man, okay, this is about whether you're an Israelite and you're of the chosen of the Lord's or you're not, okay? And, and how can you tell who's an Israelite by the ones that are doing this work, okay? Um, with that said, we're talking about the harvest, right? Um, which I, I said that the harvest was uh, the uh, wheat and the tares, okay? Um... It says Matthew 13 and 30. Let both grow until the 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 harvest, okay? Which that harvest is the crops growing at a point in time and then you 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 uh you you cut down the the harvest when it when the time is right, okay? It says, "And in the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, go ye together first the tares and bind them up Bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. Okay, so with that said, man, during that time, the so called white man, okay, which is the devil, okay, that that put down these terrors and stuff like that, the harvest is the end of the world. Okay, so so when when the when America is harvested, okay, it's gonna be it's gonna be stubble, man. Okay, it's going to be, it's going, it's going to, um, it's going to, it's going to look, uh, crazy out here, man. Okay, 
some just some some uh, pictures. Okay, this is a good picture. You have uh, this fire going on. Okay. Uh, because of you know the the, the what, what good is the, the 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 ground? Okay, if you after you done took all the crops, man. Okay. And that's that's what's 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 going to happen to America. It's going to get burnt up. Okay, is this is the scripture say? Okay. Uh, at the end of the world. Okay, because script, the scripture say Jacob is uh, the beginning of the world. That Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. Okay. It says Nahum one and eleven. There is one come out of you that imagines evil against the Lord, a wicked counselor. Thus saith the Lord, though they be quiet, and likewise many, yet thus shall they be cut down when he shall pass through. Though I have afflicted you, I will afflict you no more. And that's talking about, you know, Israel, man. Because the Lord really put that affliction on us. Okay, the Lord is the, really the one who, who put us in that, um, in a captivity under the so-called white man. Okay. Um... I'm going to try to get this scripture. It's in Zechariah. Um, I believe it's 12. Or 13. Um, where it talks about. No it's not uh, that one. Pity them. <clears throat> 11 and 5. I'm thinking 12 and 5. Uh, Zechariah 11 and 5, whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty, okay? And, and if you, you have to be spiritual to understand that when the so-called the so-called white man, okay, the Lord puts the spirit on them to kill, okay? Just because somebody shoots you with a gun don't mean that you're going to die. Ultimately, it's up to the Lord to whether a person dies or, or lives, okay? But... The Lord is the one who puts uh, put us in that, um, put us under the so-called white man. Okay, it says, and they that sell them say, blessed be the Lord, for I am rich, and their own shepherds pity them not. Okay, and it say, though I have afflicted you, I will afflict you no more. Okay, so the so-called white man afflicts us, okay, and they don't hold themselves guilty. Okay, they're, they're uh, a pitiful nation, man. Okay, terrible. Okay, um, it says, For now will I break his yoke off you and will burst your bonds and sunder. Okay, so during this, the end of the world, okay, when, when the so-called white man is destroyed, that's when our yoke, okay, from this uh, oppression, this slavery, just the sight of looking at these devils, okay, is going to be taken off of us. It says, And the Lord have given a commandment concerning thee that no more of thy name be sown. Out of the house of thy gods will I cut off the graven image and the molten image. I will make thy grave for thy, thou art vow. Okay? And when you look at America... <clears throat> They have all these uh, false images and stuff like that, okay? Um, all that stuff is going to get burnt, man, okay? The Statue of Liberty, that's going to get burnt. Whatever the hell else they got over here is going to get burnt, man, okay? It's, it's all going to get destroyed, I should say. Um, So-called white man is, is vile, man, more vile than the earth. It says, behold, upon the mountains of the feet, I mean, behold... Upon the mountains, the feet of him that brings good tidings, that publisheth peace. O Judah, keep thy solemn feast, perform thy vows, for the wicked shall no more pass through thee. He is utterly cut off. Okay? And that's what's going to happen, man. There ain't going to be no so-called white man passing through our cities and stuff like that, man. Okay? Dealing with our women. Okay? They, they can have whatever they want to right now, man. And our women are, are, are down with that program too, okay? With the so-called white man, the devil, 
okay? But the wicked, okay, the the so-called white man, any anybody that's joint hand in hand with them, that ain't down with this program, they're all going to get cut off, man. And there's comfort in that, man. Okay, the fact that we're going to be able to live in our own land and we're going to be able to enjoy life, okay, is is where it's supposed to. Okay, so with that, man, hopefully this lesson was edifying, man. The so-called white man, okay, is comfort in the fact that y'all going to get destroyed, man. Okay, so with that, I want to say Salawam.